In standard tuning, the intervals between our strings are a perfect fourth, except for one interval. So we have E to A, perfect fourth, A to D, perfect fourth, D to G, perfect fourth, G to B, major third, B to E, perfect fourth. So everything is a perfect fourth except this G to B, which is a major third. So let's find the same note on a bunch of different strings. So let's take the 17th fret on the sixth string, that's an A, and then go up a string and down five frets, that's the same A. Up a string, down five frets, same A. Up a string, down five frets, same A. So let's build the same chord off of all of those A's. Let's do a D major chord in second inversion. So we have D major, D major again, and notice those two are the same shape. So let's take the same shape to the next A, but it's the wrong chord because we encountered that B string, which is tuned to a major third instead of a perfect fourth like all the other strings. So what we need to do is take that B string and raise it a half step, and now we have the right chord. So then let's take this same shape and move it to our next A when we have the wrong chord again because we're incorporating this B string. So if we take that B string and raise it a half step, we have the right chord. So there's all of your different versions of a second inversion D major triad across the neck and across all the strings. Happy playing.